Hey everyone, I'm Polo back with some more League Things. Today we're going to be doing another Kindred build. We're going to be going for a Muramana Kindred, so runes will be at the bottom left. It's just Conqueror. The only difference is with the like, Bloodline, and then I'm taking Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking for the secondary. I could have taken uh, Mana Flow for the you know extra mana for Muramana, but I chose not to because I'd rather have Nimbus and Water Walking personally. So yeah, we're gonna be trying, you know, the whole like Fiora and Aurelia build and stuff that they do of going Muramana with um uh what is it called? Shield bow. See how that goes. I still don't I'm not really a big fan of either of these items anymore. Well, I mean I never really like Shield Bow, but I'm not a big fan of Muramana after all the changes I got. But we're gonna see how it goes. We'll probably end up going in from a uh, tier into a Noon Quiver and then maybe finishing Muramana or maybe we'll just finish the full Muramana. We'll see how the game's going at the time. But um, not really a fan of it because the damage is considerably worse than it used to be in my opinion. And on top of that, the item itself no longer like... Oh, oh okay. That was, that was almost bad. The item itself is also a lot more expensive, so I'm, I'm just not a big fan of Muramana. I don't think most champs really are anymore. So, I don't build it really like I used to, but we're, we'll, we'll see. We'll give it a fair shot, you know, see maybe if it goes good. I know the item itself can still give you a good amount of AD. If you go with Shield Bow and you go Muramana and you get to late game, you'll get something like 170 AD off those two items alone, which is... I mean, that, that's pretty nice, it's just, you know, you kind of have to have the game go to really late in the game to get all that AD and stuff, but it's doable, so. Could be a lot of fun builds and stuff to have. Let's see, we're playing against Pony. Um, did Pony, st uh, did he start top or what did he, my soul is dead, like, that's guaranteed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know if he started top or not. Well, Pony's got no sums now, but he actually has Grasp the Undying on Pony. Oh, he's trying to sprint over here. He's Yeah, so he's one of those players. He's one of those players that tries to run across the map to deny the Kindred. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, see, he literally tried to sprint across the map to deny me. <laughs> Make sure they know that Pony is coming towards bot side, so they hopefully don't die to him. Um, we're going to, I guess, just take his top side jungle. He only had his ground alive. Okay. That's fine, then. We did four camps, so it looks like he did red raptors, wolves, and then blue from the amount of CS he has. He'll be getting the crab right now. So, yeah, that's looking like the camps that he did was that. All right. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Is he... I don't know if he's taking my Gromp or how he's pathing right now because, again, my Mark is on the Raptors, so I don't know how this Hecarim is pathing. He's pathing very weird. There he is. Oh, I... Uh, my pathing. Wow, I just fucked that up so bad. Oh, well. We should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did there. I think I got I was right here and I tried to queue over the wall and I think I queued over the thick part so I didn't get it. Oh man, I just trolled myself so hard. That was such a free double mark. At least we got one mark out of it. That was that was literally such a free double mark and I trolled myself so hard, man. Who else but me being that dumb? Okay, let's uh let's maybe gank bot here in a second, although hmm the way they're pathing, what are they planning on doing? Hush now. Rest. Oh shit. Your next treat, dear wolf. Go, wolf! All right, well, we got the kill on the Caitlyn, so we take that, we take that. I wasn't sure if we were actually going to get anything done there, but we definitely did. There's Pony topside again, so this dragon's actually pretty free to get because Pony is going to go to my mark, so this should be no contest, really. 
Unless maybe, maybe their, uh, their Leona runs up here. And, I mean, to be fair, Leona could murder me. She, she is capable of that. Especially since I can't really run away with it being an Ocean Drake. But, I think we're good. There we go. We get a nice dragon. And we get some honey fruit. We can clear our jungle again. Then we can go reset, go spend our gold. I do need to get the tier ASAP, actually. I, got, I, I forgot that I'm buying a tier item, so I actually do need to get my tier ASAP. So I think I'll actually just get blue, and then I'm going to go and back, and we'll go do Krugs and rotate down, clearing all the camps. I completely forgot that I was going tier for a minute. <laughs> no. Let's see. We go get this. Come on, come on, there we go, and then we grab one of these, grab this, there we go. Alright, so the reason I went tier into Noon Quiver, obviously, if you don't know, is Noon Quiver is just really, really good for farming the jungle. It increases your clear speed by a good bit because it overall adds up to doing an additional 50 damage per auto, essentially before armor, after obviously armor affects it, but it's 50 damage before armor. Um, and it speeds up your clear a lot. Because it works on like everything, if I remember correctly. It's all attacks. Yeah, attacks. So it works on your Qs, your autos, all that. It helps speed up farming. It's such a good bit. It, it's pretty much like old machete, essentially. Except for, you know, you pay 1300 gold for it instead. So, yeah. <laughs> it meets us. He's going Tank Hecarim, but he took Grasp, and on top of that, Tank Hecarim's not even super good anymore after the nerfs. AD Hecarim is much better, but so many people are, like, obsessed with Tank Hecarim still, even though it's really not very good. So, that's in the end a bonus for me, because it means he's considerably less annoying than he could be. I actually don't mind playing against Tank Hecarim. myself this herald i'm wondering if i can go to that mark or not because the the risk is obviously no there's there's pony i was gonna say the risk is obviously i don't know it's alive what i do know from just that little bit of information that i got right there is his blue buff is alive that little bit of information shows me that life reaches its conclusion And Pony's dead. Oh, I'm dead too, though, because of uh, that shockwave. I actually didn't notice that shockwave till the last second until the animation went off. That thing was actually pretty, uh, pretty well hidden. I actually legit didn't notice that. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. Next time, I'll obviously need to keep my eyes open a little bit and actually, uh, notice the shockwave. My bad. I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot they even had an Ori. <laughs> it's okay. Pony's just getting set behind. I have four marks now, and there's nothing really scary about him. Especially considering he's going tank Hecarim without even having phase rush. He's really the least bit scary. So this Scuttle's alive. Alright. Seventy-eight stacks. Just need to keep stacking my tier when I can. I don't think she's gonna push up very far. Nope. Hi, buddy. Like I said, he's the least bit scary. Like, whenever you take like again, tank hacker is not super good anymore. And on top of that, no phase rush to like kite or anything. There, there's like no fear in fighting him. Like, there's there's literally no reason to be worried about anything in that fight. I'm wondering if I could kill her, but I don't know her ult cooldown. I don't know if Oriana is one of those champs with a really short ult cooldown at the start or not. 
so I'm very worried about going in to fight her, but I'm gonna try. Doesn't look like her ult's on cooldown. Never mind, her ult's off cooldown. I was gonna say it doesn't look like it was, but nope, clearly it was. <laughs> Alright, so we get three solo plating. Nice. That's so much gold right there. Holy crap, bro. Can I get the whole turret to myself solo before Soul gets here? Oh, a little bit. Come on, come on, come on a little bit. Yes, I got it before Soul got there. Oh, that solo gold, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm balling in gold right now. Look at this. 2600 gold from that back. Whew. <laughs> So we got full Muramana now. Full Muramana is good, obviously. Like, just to stack. I'm pretty, if, if I remember correctly, I think it's, let's see, attack, steal, striking and target with an ability consumes. Yeah, so using abilities is how you stack the tier initially. And um, I believe Muramana is still the same as it was last season. We're using an ability or an attack stacks it now. So you can stack it with auto attacks. You don't have to, you know, only get stacks off Q and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Alright, free dragon is free. Get another scuttle crab too. How's Susan doing top lane? He's 231 stacks at 13 minutes, so he's gonna deny a good bit, I'd say, or he's not stacking well. Not terribly behind, but he's also not super up there either. So I need, I think, 1225, right? 1200, okay. They need 1200 gold and I can finish my shield bow. Stupid wolf, not dying, bro. All right, yeah, I need, uh, I, I don't need too much gold. I, I need just 1200 gold and I can back, get my shield bow. Once you have those two items together, it's pretty nice. Like, I still don't think shield bow is ever worth taking because shield bow, in my opinion, is legitimate garbage. It's way too easy to counter and the shield doesn't really matter, especially with things like Serpent's Fang. And any, anyways, whenever something is bursting you to the point where you might even consider shield bow with how much damage is in the league right now, they'll overkill you through the shield regardless of what happens, so. I, I legit think the item is worthless, but it gives a lot of AD. Like I said, if you get to level 18, it gives the, uh, like some of the most AD out of any item. It gives um, 90 AD at level 18 when the shield pops, which I mean is, is kind of nice because obviously it gives the sisty. sisty. 60 or 55 base and then it gives 35 at level 18 so i mean it's nice in that regard i know ori wants to come contest this so she very well may steal it oh, hi pony oh look at the pony look at the cute little pony nice ghost pony Okay. Thanks, Pony. You guys can kill Nats, that's right. Actually, I kind of want to kill. I'm not going to lie. Alright, boys. I'll help you. You guys are struggling anyways. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha, you, boys. Don't worry. Right, grab that. The scuttle's about to spawn. I kind of want to go for that mark. Hmm. That would be seventh mark. Seventh mark would be pretty dope to have right now. Everybody on our team is doing pretty well too. I'm gonna go for it. See if it's alive. It is. Wow. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. Goodbye, pony. Have a nice life. I gotta go spend my gold anyways. 
go get this, get some booty boots, and then we will be going for, I want something, I want to go for a pretty high AD build, I think. So I think I'm going to go for a Ravenous Hydra as well, because Ravenous Hydra gives 65 AD, which is, uh, I believe, some of the most in anything. Let me see, uh, attack damage. Throw it to sort by top item order. No. There's a... Uh... Oh, 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 there we go. See, does it, is there a way to sort by highest? I don't think there is. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to sort by highest AD. But I believe 65 AD from this is some of the most. Other than, like, obviously, Muramana, Shield Bow, and then uh, Titanic can give you more, obviously, depending on the amount of HP you have built with Titanic. But I'm clearly not going for Titanic this game because I'd rather have the Ravenous. Although I could actually do Titan. Hmm. I could do Titanic because it wouldn't be terrible. It would actually be pretty decent uh, in terms of going for the full AD because I could do Titanic and then I could stack something else with HP. I could do like Sterox and that could actually be pretty dope. You know, let's try that. Let's, let's kind of go for an unkillable build. Yeah, you know what? That, that, that's the play. So there will be two people over here because there should be an Ori coming. Oh, it's a Leona. Oh, he's not going to burn, I don't think. I think it's going to be one tick. Oh, nope, he did burn. Hmm. I want to keep fighting, but... Again, Ori's alive. I'm kind of scared of Ori. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, there she is. Glad I didn't keep fighting. The uh, Leona's a little bit too tanky for me to do deeps too, but that's fine. I don't really need to kill Leona. and kill Pony at any point. Like, he, he just doesn't realize that the champ, like, is not good as a tank really anymore. So many people got used to abusing Hecarim because he was broken for so long as a tank. But now that they like, now that they nerfed tank Hecarim, everybody's still trying to build it. But it's just so worthless, man. Like you're so much better off just not building tank Hecarim. You're so much better off just building normal Hecarim and then just playing him as a tank or uh, an AD like champ. All right, let's get our camps, get all of our gold. I still do need to be a little bit careful though, because the Ori can still like get a big play off for their team. An Ori, like a big Ori shockwave into like a Hecarim R and then a Leona R, that could be very much devastating to us. So we still gotta be a little bit like careful of that stuff. But yeah, they're, they're really not too scary anymore. I'm really slow at stacking tier, huh? How much AD are we getting off of it right now though? We're getting 70 or yeah, 72 AD off of it? Nice. Go into this. Go into this. I don't know what I'm gonna build this into. Does this go into Sterox by chance? No, I can't even do Sterox, huh? Oh, because it's a lifeline. Never mind, I can't even do Sterox. Hmm. That's Cleaver. Cleaver gets 400 HP, Sterox gets 400. You know what? Yeah, we'll do Cleaver. Alright, that's fine. And that will be a fine. I didn't even think about that though, the fact that they're both lifelines. Yeah, so you can't even do Sterox with the uh, shield bow. Got a 522 damage shield with 24 extra AD, so the 24 extra AD is pretty nice. Puts me at 79 AD from this, so yeah. These two items together are giving me over 140 AD with just those two, which is kind of cool, at least. So, it, it, it works pretty decently. Pony's top side. He's really my big, like, the biggest fear is Pony and Oriana together, or Leona and Oriana. Pretty much anything that can lock me down for Oriana to get her deeps off is what, uh, what is my biggest fear in this game. Because obviously, you know, if they, they, they can kill me very fast, Ori especially. Closing out. Now, who's next? 
Okay. Almost just one before that. I'm just saying, if I would have red smited, I would have won before that there. Holy crap. <laughs> I messed that up so bad in the end. I literally almost just won before them right there. <laughs> that could have been so good. All I had to do was red smite there and I killed Pony in the end. <laughs> Dude, imagine if I had Cleaver there too, whenever so I had a little bit of armor shred from Cleaver. That could have been so nice. <laughs> well, either way, that works so. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm realizing that it's not really much AD, and I'm kind of feeling like I should go for the other Hydra. I'm gonna go for the other Hydra. We'll sit on this for now, but you know what? We're, we're gonna go Ravenous because I think Ravenous would have been game changing there anyways too. The life steal would have been a little bit like a little bit more life steal would have been enough to win that fight. So yeah, we'll just sit on this. It's hard. <laughs> Dude, that, that was ridiculous. I have 305 AD with three items right now, and they're not super, super, like, bad to get either. Like, they're, they're not useless items. Again, I still don't think, like, Muramon is very good compared to other options, but or Shieldbow, I think, is also really, bit, like, not good either. But, in a game like this, where they're not, like, bursting me too fast, it's not terrible. It could be worse, is essentially what I mean by that. I need to wait. Don't hit the plant. Don't hit the plant. Boop. There we go. Full Muramana now. That's good. We got a uh, 75 AD off our Muramana with it fully stacked. We take those. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Um. Oh, damn. I should have ulted. I thought Red Smite would be enough to let me survive one more hit. <laughs> I might need to get QSS for Nasus Wither, but I don't really want to get QSS, which is the predicament here. Hmm. We could go for Buff Death Stance, I think, would be pretty good against the Nasus. Yeah, let's go Buff Death Stance. Let's just sell this. We don't, we don't need that. Yeah, buff death stance is the call here, I think. Because I always put buff death stance, it will prevent a bunch of Nasus' damage. Most of his damage is obviously being physical. That'll be pretty good. Nice, we got soul too. So, ult cooldown. 88 seconds on my ult. Not the worst thing in the world. We take that. Um, Let's see, so we got buff death stance, then what are we gonna go last item? Maybe grudge. Maybe grudge so we do get a little bit of armor pen. The 334 AD right now. Shield procs, the shield will also give me an additional 28 AD. Alright, do we have any Infernal Drakes? We do not, so that's not scaling anything. Plus Conqueror can give me, I think it's almost a grand total of, uh, what's that? Almost 30 AD? So, not bad, by any means, definitely not. Oh, did I just jump in and do that stun? Pretty sure I did. Okay. You just want me dead, huh, buddy? Ooh, the really slow attack speed, the the dramatic last auto. God damn this Nasus, he's like perma withering me. Okay, we got him again. <laughs> Those Nasus are like perma withering me. <laughs> because this withers on such a low cooldown that by the time the first wither wears off, he's pretty much ready to wither me again. <laughs> it's like never getting to move.
There we go, we murdered the Caitlyn, nice. This build is actually pretty good because you scale really, really well with it and you're like so hard to kill because it like, it, it does feel nice. The late game, it feels nice. But I do, again, if they're playing against assassins or anything that can actually burst you, it's going to be useless. Especially if they get Serpent Fang, which is why again, Shield Bow is kind of worthless because the people who it's intended to counter have a counter to their counter. So it, it kind of makes it pretty rough, you know? It, it, it really does. So... Still don't think the shield bow is worth it, but I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. We got a grand total of 77 AD from our Muramana at the end of the game. I enjoyed that quite a bit. If you did enjoy this, obviously, as per usual, like the video, comment, you know, press the sub button. All that helps with the YouTube algorithm, which the algorithm sucks. Everybody knows that it sucks. So, yeah. If you want to help the channel grow, there's that. And then check out the links in the description, which are my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, and all that down below in my second channel. But, uh, goodbye for now, everybody.